Hello and welcome to the screencast on the fprintf command in MATLAB. So fprintf is a command that's another way to display output to the screen in addition to the disp command which we saw in the input and output commands in MATLAB screencast. Now this command is very powerful and does a lot of different things and all we're going to touch on in this screencast is its most basic elements of use. fprintf can uh, displays text along with the contents of variables in MATLAB using a system of control and format codes. This allow you, allows you to have precise control over the formatting of what you're displaying. So let's look at some of these basic codes. One of the most basic things we can do with fprintf, fprintf, is to do what we normally do with disk, and that is to display text. So if I type hello there, inside uh, quotes as a string variable, it will just echo it back out. But there's a lot more we can do with fprintf as well. For starters, if you might notice here on the screen that once the uh, fprintf command put hello there back on the screen, it didn't actually make a new line. It just uh, stuck it right up next to the command prompt. And maybe I don't like that. Well, I can insert a control code here at the very end uh, after the text but before the single quote to close the text off of slash n. And that is a command within a command in some ways that tells fprintf to add a new line after the text has been printed out, as you see there. The control codes that you can pass to fprintf let you do things that aren't even possible with disp. For example, with disp you can't put in an apostrophe into a displayed text because MATLAB will interpret that apostrophe as an ending quote mark. But you can do this with fprintf. For example, I could go in here and say hello there, my name's Robert, and I'm going to hit the single quote twice. And when I hit enter now you see the apostrophe shows up. Now remember that also that Robert, if you look in the workspace, is the current value of the string variable name. Now I can tell fprintf to insert the value of name into the text string, no matter what the variable's value actually is. I can do that by, instead of typing the name straight out, using a control code percent %s. And this is going to tell uh, MATLAB, and fprintf in particular, to make sort of a blank or a slot uh, for a string variable. That's why I use the letter s after the, parent, after the percent mark. And at the end of the fprintf, after I've closed off the quote, I have to pass another argument, namely the variable that I'm going to plug in to that percent %s place. So what fprintf is going to do when I hit enter here is take whatever the current value of name is and plug it in right here where I see percent %s, and there it is. Now, what's nice about this is I can now go and change the value of name, say name equals uh, Harrison, my son's name, and when I re-execute that fprintf command, it's going to put in whatever the current value of name actually is. So this is, a, this is a command that actually references variables in the workspace and puts them into what's being displayed. So I can also input uh, or insert numerical information into the strings that I'm displaying here uh, that's precisely formatted with a set number of decimal places. Let's say I want to insert my test average along with my name uh, inside this text. Now over here in the workplace I have three scores for three tests, uh, 89, 66, and 55. And let's say I want to say, um, hello, my name is whoever it is, and my test average is and I'm going to create another space using another kind of control character. It's percent, which is generally uh, how we tell fprintf to create a space for a variable. 0.1f. And what this is going to do is insert a floating point variable. A floating point essentially is a decimal value in MATLAB. It's a little more complicated than that, but that's how you can think of it. And it's going to use one decimal place. And now what I need to do is create I have one variable here that's going to go into the first blank that I create. The second blank that I created with this command here, I need to enter in the other variable. Actually, I don't have a variable for this. I'm going to just have MATLAB calculate it. Test 2, test 3, all divided by 3. So now when I run this fprintf command, it's going to put the name variable in the percent %s slot and put the average of those three test scores in the point 1f slot. And I'm going to move this over again so you can see the entire line of code here. This wasn't a variable I passed it, it was a calculation involving variables. So if I wanted this to be to two decimal places, I would just simply go and change this point 0.1 to a 2, and it would output it to two decimal places. So notice that I can put two of these control codes into fprintf, and fprintf will put the first argument in the first slot, the second argument in the second slot, and so on for as many variables as I choose to display. So there are lots and lots of other things you can do with fprintf, such as make nicely formatted tables and even write output to text files and send it to the screen. But we're going to stop right here with these most basic features. Uh, you can spend a lot of time going through the documentation and playing around with fprintf to work with all the possible ways of controlling output uh, you can, and I encourage you to do that. 
for the meantime, thanks for watching.